This week on the Vic Meyer Show, I'm back in the Arizona desert, and I brought some of that wet weather with me. We're here to check out Schoolie Palooza. And here we are in Schoolie Palooza. Get caught up with Jenny and see how her bus is coming along. Storage job. underneath the bed now. And you've got your garage built in I've the back. I've got the garage. I make a new friend and a great artisan woodworker an all-around good guy. And it's great to have good people like Dave here that can not only add some beauty to the rig, but actually provide something functional like this bed here, so. In the back. Can't wait to show you all about that. But first. Here we are headed into the big tent. Here in Quartzsite. Back in Quartzsite, Arizona. Heading down to Main Street. We just missed the RTR, which I have been trying my hardest to get to for the past couple of years. However, other issues prevailed this year. So, gives me something to shoot for for next year. There's the, uh, Community park, dog park. There on the right hand side. Nice facilities out here. Great public facilities here at Quartzsite. It's like bocce ball, horseshoes. Even a little skate park. Good job, Quartzsite. North Plymouth Avenue in Quartzsite, Arizona. It's a short jaunt from where I'm camping with my friends over in Tyson Wells. It also brings you out on the east end of town, so we're on East Main Street here in Quartzsite. And I'm going to drive on over to the white tent heard all about it. I've seen the videos. Now I want to see it for myself in person. I want to take you with me. So stay tuned as we go exploring around Quartzsite. I just had to drive through here to give you an idea of the mayhem and chaos that is Quartzsite this time of year. <laughs> This is your first time coming here too? To the Big Ten, yeah. And hey. I've been coming to Quartzsite every year for six years. Let's, let's break that seal. <laughs> Here we are headed into the Big Ten. Here at Quartzsite. Thank you. 
ideas. composting toilet was originally designed for sailboats, hence the name. Air completely waterless, heads a bathroom on a boat. It's a diverting toilet where it's going to divert the urine to this front two gallon bottle. Your solid matter, or number twos, go straight down into a second bin that's filled about halfway up with either peat moss or cocoa fiber. There's a crank handle on the side that will mix your solids into that peat moss so we'll get this all apart. The liquids bottle comes off easily from the bottom. It is secured to the floor. Don't have to open this up to empty it. The cap goes on here, second toilet, north 40, however you feel comfortable getting rid of it. When it's time to empty the solid bin, most folks have actually described emptying it as a non-event. It's not going to have a of odor, it's just dry, crumbly compost. Thumb screws front and back, air head bowl lifts straight up, so you can put this right up against the wall. This is clean, there's no uh, uh, number two in there, <laughs> but that's just so you can see what it would look like. Uh, once it reaches these two screws here, that's when you would want to empty it. We're the only composting uh, toilet that comes with a lid and handle, so now you can carry this outside. It's not in your face. That makes it a lot easier to deal with, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Ideally, we want to dump it into another compost bin if you have that option. If not, worst case scenario, brown paper bag, just toss it in the trash like diapers without the plastic. You can find us at Airhead Composting Toilet. Take care of you from there. Awesome, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Melby. Thank you very much. And this is uh, the thing I could not live without this time. <laughs> we'll get a shot of that. Isn't that beautiful? Going right in bird. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Melby. You so yeah, you bet. Cheers. Thank you, bet. you. How do we get a hold of you if you want any of Melby's? Sweet foraged things. Sweet foraged things. Isn't that great? Working on little mushroom magnets <laughs> right now. <laughs> These are so cool. That was actually the inspiration behind one of the colors in my van. Awesome. Yeah. It Thank will you, be Melby. a magnet soon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you Cheers. bet. Of course. Thank you. So I'm here with my friend Dave. I got to meet him this weekend. Just another one of the great people I get to meet hanging out with my good friend Doof. And he has this amazing technique of inlaying aggr natural aggregates like turquoise into the wood and making it look seamless for where the natural imperfections would already be. Yeah. It just takes it to a whole nother level. I kind of try to make it look like it could have grown that way. You know, yeah. like you could have found it that way maybe. All of the, yeah, the mad scientist's <laughs> laboratory here. Yeah, this is like a jumble of... That's where it all starts, right? You, you gather up the wood and then let it speak to you and give you inspiration? Yeah. Yeah. say Dave uh, spilled wood one man ga one man gathers what another man spills so <laughs> all my wood is like gathered you know yeah I see it I, I envision what it's gonna be and wood together. like this table right here which is made of manzanita you said yeah manzanita the leg and then redwood slab top. yeah it's beautiful man really yeah. beautiful and I gather all the stones I find the stones and put them together and well, the natural cracks and depressions in the wood, I uh, find stones that are um, close and I put them together like a mosaic. I kind of fit them together and fill the voids and then I crush turquoise to fill the smaller cracks. I was wondering about that and because that doesn't seem like anything I've ever seen, at least not with a natural aggregate or a natural material before. 
Yeah, I know the, the Native Americans, they do jewelry similar. Yeah. Similar style. Yeah. Similar process, you know. And of the inlays I've seen, I've only mostly seen, at this point, epoxies and that sort of thing. So to have something so natural and beautiful that, again, it's amazing because these two different styles of wood, they match so well. It looks beautiful. Yeah, Manzanita base with the redwood top. Yeah, and it's sturdy wood, too. I could sit on that thing. Oh, heck yeah. Take some weight. Yeah. It looks like a topographical map, and uh, I don't know, you, you can just find all sorts of, it's almost like staring at clouds. You, you can find different shapes just looking at it from different angles and whatnot, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I saw that you had a piece sitting over by the side of your trailer. Do you mind if we go over and uh, oh, yeah. explain that one? Yeah, yeah let's check, check that out. out. Yeah. Right, so what are we looking at here, Dave? Yeah, this is uh, my Choya that was screaming lamp and cable. So I'm going to put a LED strip light through the, the middle of it. So it will light up all these little holes and kind of glow different colors. Then I'm going to hang an Edison bulb from here. And then uh, put a table right here. So it'll be a little lamp cable. The free sand, I'll put a base on it so it'll be free yeah, sanding. Clean it up, you said. Yeah, clean it up and probably put resin on it, I imagine. Yeah, who knows what you'll come up with, the mad scientist. <laughs> yeah, I just see the stuff. The artful carpenter. Yeah, so I just see stuff out there and I just, you know. Yeah, well. Envision what it could be. You gotta have some fun, right Dave? Yeah, a little disco in the desert. <laughs> disco in the desert. I love the people I get to meet. You bringing it in? Yeah, we're bringing it in. Whoop whoop, my new piece of artwork. Yes. So here we are, we've got, let's take these off so I can see. There we go. I'm gonna break it for sure. Yeah, don't break it. So. Fits perfectly right there. There we go. Oh, look at that. Aww. Very nice. I love it. Very, very nice. So it'll be mounted permanently here because obviously you cannot drive with this standing here like this safely. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be a nice ambient light to sleep at or yeah. hang out at night in here having some drinks. Then I can turn it on and off. Yeah, great mood lighting. Yeah. Excellent piece. Thank you. I think Dave. <laughs> Dave? Hey, I'm glad <laughs> it's going to a good home. Yeah. <laughs> and? And Dave also helped me build my bed platform yesterday. So yeah, I have storage job. underneath the bed now. And you've got your garage built in I've the back. I've got the garage built. So I have a lot of progress in the last few weeks. Yeah. And job. I have a new toilet. Excellent. What kind of toilet is that? It is a Compa Closet Cuddy toilet. Compa Closet. Cuddy toilet. Cuddy toilet. Yep. Very nice. It's a lot more sleek and slender than the nature's head, so. That is an, an indeed easier a lot. to clean. <laughs> yeah. So that'll Very get cool. installed there. The only other thing I'm really excited about is yeah. I installed that. And it seems maybe silly to some people to be excited about such little things, but when you live in a space such as this, space matters. It does. <laughs> and storage space matters. It's like, you know, sailboaters have been doing this stuff for years and us nomads are figuring it out too. Yeah. And nomads alike. Yep. Land, land yachts exactly. or otherwise. Exactly. And it's great to have good people like Dave here that can not only add some beauty to the rig, but actually provide something functional like this bed here. So exactly. Great work. Excellent work, Dave. Thank you. I'm really glad you took time to hang out with us and show us your well, art. I can do a wide variety of, of projects, you know. Yeah, do you want to put your phone I, number out there or anything? Um, yeah, it's 702-612-0353. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, so one more time, the phone number? 702-612-0353. Uh, and that's how you get a hold of Dave, and that's yeah. how you get a hold of his spilled awesome wood. spilled wood. <laughs> Would you say one man's... One man gathers what another man spills. Yeah. Spills Love all the turquoise so inlays detail. everywhere. Yeah, I got a little bit of... Uh, I mean, it's very affordable. 
So <laughs> for what he does, it's amazing artwork. Yeah, I agree. I got some shots of it out there in the sunlight, so I'll make sure to put that in. But I even like this little the moon. Yeah, or a yeah. Crystal, ball. crystal ball, if you will. Yeah. I'm going to read your future. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. It's all my trash. From, you're serving ramen. We are. Nice. We're about to run into town, though. We're going to go take a shower. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. So I got one more day left in the desert before I head home to San Diego. Whoa! Ah! But where are we, Jenny? We're at Schooly Palooza. Schooly Palooza. They let a van roll in here. I'll join the party. What is this party? <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? We're doing a wig sunset walk. A wig walk? Wig walk. Wig walk. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> 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 Baby Andy. Let her rip. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Vic Meyer Show. Wig walk edition. How's everybody doing? We having fun? Well, I'm going to make you fall in love tonight. Can't wait! Thank you. 
Say, Jenny, isn't that a pleasant way to start the day? Fantastic way to start the day. I really hate that I have to leave. You shouldn't. You hear that, Al? It's all for you. That's my dad. <laughs> Going home to San Diego, spend time with my dad. Got some plans to go to a basketball game, so I've got to say goodbye. But I'll be back next year for sure. Schoolie Palooza is a thing. And you don't have to have just a school bus to do this, right? Nope. I started coming in a van before I got my bus. In a van. Like somebody I else I know. Slepping around here in a van with all these awesome school buses. Hope you enjoyed watching some of that. So, I don't know. Is it time to say goodbye? Bye-bye. Remember, when you're out there on the road, keep between the lines. Look out for Smokey because he's looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you. Presumably. It's the Vic Meyer Show. Every Wednesday on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll have the Al Meyer edition next week. Now, in honor of the occasion, let's have the young kids play us out this week. See you next week.
I've been driving by this little monument and I just decided let's find out what it's all about. Ben Holes Highway, dedicated for public use March 21st, 1964. This highway parallels the old Indian Trail, still visible from here, connecting the Imperial and Palo Verde Valleys. The grateful people of Imperial County honor the memory of our beloved Senator Ben Holes, who worked untiringly for the people of the state of California. Ben Holes Highway completes the four-state system from Canada to Mexico, which culminates 25 years of work by countless civic-minded citizens. Erected by the native sons of the Golden West, De Anza Parlor, number 312, Ben Holes Highway. And now you know.